Hello to all you dear Aquarians. This is your monthly horoscope for March of uh, 2019. What is this all about? Now there's a, a traffic jam going on in your second house. Let's start with that. It's um, pretty, for some uh, other signs, it is hugely important. For you, it's not that important. Why? Uh, not, well, important, I mean not life-changing because it's not a key area of your life. But there is so much energy there going on in your second house that there is a lot that you can, after some introspection, that you can change if you want to. So what is this all about? There is a new moon happening in Pisces on the 6th. There is Mercury going retrograde on the same day in that same sign of your second house in Pisces. And if you're watching this already in February, uh, by the way, it could be your birthday then. Happy birthday for some of you. And um, if you're watching this in February, uh, around the 15th, 16th of February, Mercury is already, for the first time, out of three times, going to conjoin with Neptune. Mercury and Neptune together in that second house already. So you could be feeling already these energies when you're watching it in February, this prediction. Now, what is this all about? Is this good energy or bad? No, it is what it is. So it's always best to try to put it in a positive context and to, you know, work towards the positivity. But um, at its best, there, there is, um, with all this energy in, in your second house, second house is, of course, your money, your assets. It's also your self-worth. Having this energy of Neptunian, this soft energy, this healing energy almost, of Neptunian, Piscean energy. This could mean that a lot of your uh, possessions, that you're going to give them away. That is one of the best case scenarios, that you're going to give things that you don't need anymore, uh, things that are not of value anymore, that you're going to give them away. And it could give you good karma, good karma, uh, so to speak. This is one of the best options. One of the worst options is that you would neglect a certain financial problem. So why? Because the worst case scenario of this energy is confusion and is of mm, things that are a bit um, not really, um, how would I say, not really clear and a bit, dis de um, you know, trying to deceive things in, uh, when it comes to your finances or trying to not be truthful or honest, then you can have the negative side of this. Um, so if there is a fine, not all of you have financial problems, I hope, but if you are, if you're having a financial problem um, or some difficulties, then this is the perfect month for you to think about it because it's Mercury thinking planet in your second house of finances. So is it a good month to sign contracts? No. Is it a good month to make very important decisions considering your money? No, it's a good month to think about it. And it's a good month to see as many options as you can because that's Pisces. Pisces is about, you know, so it's ruled by Jupiter. Um, it has associations with Neptune. So it's about broadening your perspective. So do so. Go to an accountant and maybe even better, go to two different ones to have a second opinion about your financial situation because that's the best energy that's the best attitude to take with this energy because um, there's, there's things that are not clear or that ha has to be um, so sort of an introspection. That's the good thing about the retrograde. So use that energy for that. Investigate. Stand still with your financial situation. Why is happening the things that are happening? Write it down and find solutions in different ways and then act on it after the first week of April because then things clear up and then you've got all the information. So the wisest thing to do is that. Of course, if you have to sign things and if, you, if it's out of your control, it's out of your control. You do your best and God does the rest. So, um, um, but for those of you who are, th who are not really having a problem financially, but who are reinvestigating their, their, their assets and how they might, uh, it, it's a perfect time to think about it. Uh, maybe you're saying, yeah, I, I want to do something different with, with my belongings. I want to, I want to, I don't know, I have a car and, and or I have a house or um, let's say, um, let's say you have a car 
and uh, you you just want to do some um, uh, reconstructions on the car you know but a good a good thing is to point it all out and uh, this is very you know it's, it's it's very material that i'm saying now but uh, on another level this could have to do with your self-worth maybe yourself you're a bit insecure um and again making important decisions is not the time for that but asking yourself the question why am i self uh why am i self-doubting why am i not respecting my talents why am i always comparing myself to other people you know it's 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 a uh, it's the worst thing that you can do basically because uh, you're, everyone's unique, you know. You cannot be compared with someone else. So stop doing that. Maybe that is the things, these kind of questions that you're gonna ask yourself. Why am I comparing myself with others? Why is my self-worth not what it should be? Uh, how can I make that different? What can I do? Perfect timing for that. Perfect timing to, um, to work on your self-confidence, to work on, on, on yourself, basically. Um, it could also mean, uh, on a very basic level, you know, the second house is also what you eat, that you're going to change that, you know, with the Mercury retrograde, you might be changing your diet, you might be changing, um, you know, the way that you eat um, and, and thinking about that and seeing all different options in, in March. Now, on the other hand, you have Venus in your sign, which is wonderful. The most of the month you have Venus in your own sign. Um, which is fantastic, which means that it's a good time to buy new clothes. It's maybe putting away some old clothes and buying some new one if you, if you can and if you want to. Uh, it's a good time to have a new haircut and, and all that, you know, to go to some spa maybe if you can. And you're going to enjoy it so much. Um, you, you already have a, a huge dose of charm, but this is even double up with Venus in your sign. It does square Mars, um, uh, but that's only around the 20th up until the 25th, so to speak. A couple of days when Venus squares up to your Mars. Um, so there could be a bit uh, uh, that you need to rebalance the give and take uh, with a family member, probably, or with a parent uh, or with a relative, you know, someone of your family. Um, that uh, the give and take, it, there's a bit maybe too much giving or too much taking, whatever it is, you will sort it out. It's just a short uh, little transit there. So all in all, um, not bad at all, quite interesting, not the most important month for you. Of course, these are general horoscopes. Um, when it comes to relationships, I think it, it's quite good with Venus in your sign, so you can uh, you can really attract more people to, towards you, you know, when you're single, it's nice to have Venus in your first house because you enjoy yourself more. And when you enjoy yourself more, that's very attractive for other people. Having said that, I wish you a very good month, dear Aquarians. Thank you so much for watching and um, see you soon. And if you want to have a reading, just get in touch. Bye-bye.